Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. In today's episode, we have a selection of clips that are perfectly calculated. Clips where the player has really taken everything into account and pulled off something pretty special on an unsuspecting enemy. <laughs> Starting us off, we have a clip sent in from Ali Turhan, and this one is going to be a little bit different, but I thought I had to include it because it's something that I've never seen done before. I posted it on Twitter, or at least retweeted it, a few weeks ago, but this is the real thing, as he flies upside down through the bridge on Twisted Steel in a plane. Absolutely insane stuff. I've just about managed it without being upside down, but doing it that way is even sweeter. How about killing three enemies at once with the Liberator? Yes. Next up a clip from Ceremony. He's playing on Twisted Steel on the bridge. Manages to get himself a triple collat, followed up by a double. Pretty special stuff. An absolute Next we have Incarcerated Pepe playing on Fiel 652. He gets more than he bargains for with one stick of dynamite. William JF is playing on Hamada, fires his Piat launcher straight up into the air and check out what happens next. Kasatos is next up, again playing on Hamada. He's provided a couple of clips that are pretty epic and certainly perfectly calculated. The first one is an amazing grenade throw on that enemy plane, and the second, well, what a spectacular Panzerfaust that is. Next up, we've got Jesus once again on Hamada. He's being pursued as he's in the Ju-88 bomber and uses a really clever bombing technique to take out the plane behind him. Next up, I have around five to 10 clips that are very short, but I'm gonna let them all play at once without any commentary. They are perfectly calculated. All of them super satisfying as well. Starting out with this amazing sniper shot from Darren Connor. How many kills did I just get? How many points did he get? A lot of points. 
Now getting back into the clips, we have a really awesome trick shot sent in from Parallax and Helix. This one is on Twisted Steel. And in fact, it's going to be something that I didn't really think was possible in Battlefield 5. They were trying for ages to pull this off, apparently. Getting themselves a plane, landing it on the ground. One of them sits on top of the plane, the other one takes off. And then whilst they're in midair, they take out a plane like that. Really quite glitchy, as you can tell. But nevertheless, they managed to pull it off. And that's pretty damn special, if you ask me. Exit 7 is next, playing on Fiel 652. He's holding down the enemies on this part of the map. He can't quite get an angle on them, so check out what he does with this grenade. Unknown Fred is next up, pulling off a spectacular clip with the Panzerfaust. Enemy planes are everywhere on Hamada, so you need to really make sure you've got your eye in with the Panzerfaust so you can take them out whenever they come close. The first one, he makes light work of. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Skipping forward in the clip slightly, he is looking to take down another one. I believe he might have just missed a shot. Nonetheless, the next plane that comes over, he takes that one out. Clean as you like. The pilot never stood a chance. And then finally, another plane comes in to complete his three-piece with the Panzerfaust. Next up, a special shout out to Flex TV, who is clearly playing with some sort of injury. He looks like he's hurt his arm quite a lot, so he's actually playing the game with one hand, which is fairly special in itself. But then he manages to pull off this shot on Fiel 652. Oh, this! Clip this! Alfoil is next up with a couple of sniping clips. The first one is on Aerodrome, and this one is definitely calculated very well, as he's got himself in a great position shooting towards F objective from Echo. Now, Echo is, of course, being capped at this point, so he's got to be careful, as you can tell. A couple of enemies around him. He needs to make sure his situational awareness is on point. But at the same time, he's doing work on those players camping at F. F is one of those flags on Aerodrome where you do see a lot of camping snipers and bipodders. It's kind of elevated from the other flags. There is that little ridge behind the flag itself that's perfect for getting an angle on players on C, B, E, D. It pretty much works for all the flags. But if you're in a situation like this where you can see them, you're zeroed in pretty much and you're just smashing them all back to the spawn screen. The second clip he sent in was on a RAS. This one is fairly similar in terms of the fact it is a sniping clip. It's very accurate, but this one's a little more sneaky as he's using the long grass around him to conceal his position. A lot of these enemies don't have a clue what's going on by the looks of it anyway. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Next up, we've got Vintax playing on Aerodrome. He's going to be pulling off a very nice clip with the Lee Enfield. This one, I believe, is seven kills in total. Some great accuracy as he runs through the open, leaving himself exposed to enemy snipers as he makes his way to Alpha Objective. A really solid clip. He also sent in another clip, this one again with the Lee Enfield, but this time on Hamada as he pushes towards Alpha Objective, taking enemies down in this aggressive streak. The great thing about the snipers in this game is, although they're not as powerful as they were in BF1, I don't think the headshot hitbox is actually larger, so I'm seeing a lot more headshots in this game for sure. Not taking anything away from this clip though, as he absolutely blitzes the enemy team with 3,000 points. Next up, it's Path to Samurai. He's going to be playing on Aerodrome, and as you can tell, he's doing something similar with the headshots, making sure his shots are very accurate on enemies, although he does miss a couple of shots there. He wants to be taking down enemies before they get a chance to shoot at him, and there he picks up a triple on enemies camping behind that rock before continuing with a final kill. Mika Muro is next. This is Devastation of Rotterdam. Again, he's playing as a scout with the Lee Enfield, but that's not what he's going to be using for the majority of this clip. He seems to have found himself a great position behind some sandbags as enemies are right next to him. He pushes around the corner, and this was, of course, when the throwing knife hadn't been nerfed, when the throwing knife was a little overpowered, in my opinion. 
nonetheless, he manages to pull off a load of kills with this thing. Again, making use of the melee, or the pickaxe in this case, to take down that final guy. I'll leave you today with a clip sent in from Rune89. He's playing on Twisted Steel, again going for some long range sniping shots. He pulls off a really nice point streak in this one, racks up some serious points as he pushes towards Bravo. A great clip, the Krag Jorgensen is just a spectacular sniping weapon and I've seen a lot of people pull off some incredible headshot hit ratios with this thing. It's just a great weapon all round. Thanks for watching today's Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Let me know what your favourite clip was or maybe what sort of clips you want to see in a future episode. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.